Destiny's initial release was disappointing, with a poor storyline and severe lack of worthwhile content for a full price AAA game. It's been over a year now since its launch, and with the release of The Taken King, we dive in headfirst to see if our expectations have finally been met. The Taken King's narrative is a massive improvement from its predecessor. Following Crota's death at the hands of the Guardians, his father Oryx arrives unexpectedly in Enormous Dreadnought. Now on a zealous rampage, Oryx seeks revenge for his son and builds an army of corrupted foes to defeat the Guardians. The story here is much more coherent and focused, with an overall flair which has been missing since the days of Halo. The cutscenes give players an insight into the charismatic characters, and now with humorous and quippy monologues, players can finally understand what's actually going on behind the red tape. Although Destiny had numerous problems, the gameplay was certainly not one of them, and the Taken King's no exception. Three new subclasses have been added and introduced alongside new weapons and armor composing of unique and formidable abilities. Some of these can feel a little overpowered, such as Storm Transport or Warlocks, I mean, wow. But overall, I don't feel any more dominant than the previous subclasses. Another addition that some may consider new is an enemy race called the Taken, which unfortunately are simple possessed versions of the enemies you fought numerous times already. Not exactly an evolution of the series. Speaking of which, Bungie has made a strong effort to rectify the somewhat repetitive nature of Destiny's initial design with slightly missed results. For example, the mission Lost to Light is almost identical to the mission The Awakening from the Dark Below expansion, simply switching mechanics in which to open doors. It's clear that the devs simply had to work with what they had in the limited time given. Thankfully, the graphics are still amazing and really push the PS4's hardware. Every visual aspect of Destiny, such as the dense variety of colors, textures, weapon and armor designs, look just as good, if not better here. The new Taken enemies also look great with the glowing and ghostly looking skin, although the repetitive nature of them can take out the fun of blasting them to smithereens. Although capped at 30 FPS, the frame rate is consistent from what I've noticed. Bungie's effort to deliver a magnificent audio experience has never ceased to amaze in each expansion, and this game is no different. Realistic space-themed sounds, weapon effects, and alien war cries are well implemented with nothing seeming out of place at all. The voice talent has also drastically improved, with Nathan Fillion assuming the role of Exo KD6 and Nolan North taking over from the surprisingly dull Peter Dinklage as your ghost companion. Both create an engaging atmosphere and makes you invested in the characters in the story. Although The Taken King is somewhat of a reboot for Destiny, trying to improve upon many aspects that players questioned in the initial offering, it still feels somewhat limited in terms of innovation, probably because of the limited time frame Bungie has for these expansions. The gameplay is still incredibly addicting, however with all the expansions included in this one game, there is plenty of content worthy of the full price. Whether this franchise can sustain its 10 year plan is still to be seen, but for now, The Taken King is a step in the right direction.